The Honourable Member for Calvert Klein. Well, thank you, Madam Speaker. And I rise in the House to table Bill 1, the Energy Diversification Act, for second reading. Bill 1 is legislation to realize a vision of Alberta, a vision of a more diversified energy industry that is a vital part of a healthy and more diversified economy, an economy that provides good jobs for people, growing industries for our, our communities, and exciting new products for export. As the member for Calgary Klein, I'm honoured to speak to Bill 1 in the company of my colleagues from Edmonton Manning and Athabasca Sturgeon Redwater. We're from different parts of our province, Calgary, Edmonton, and rural Alberta, but the three of us share an understanding of what Bill 1 will mean for our constituents. And to people in cities, towns, and communities across the province, there are three components to Bill 1. I will look at how the bill will renew the petrochemical diversification program. My colleague from Edmonton Manning will explain how Bill 1 supports the commercialization of partial bitumen upgrading. And my colleague for Athabasca, Sturgeon Redwater, will speak to a new petrochemical feedstock infrastructure program made possible by Bill 1. But before we get into details, it's important to look at the context of this bill. Because, Mr. S uh, Madam Speaker, Bill 1 is part of a long, proud history of this province of innovation in our energy sector. For generations, Alberta's oil and gas resources have been a pillar of our economy and our enviable quality of life. And for generations, Albertans have looked to their government to stand up for their energy resources and industries. Peter Lahey stood up for Alberta's interests and our right to get full value for our natural resources. His vision spurred the development of our petrochemical industry. His vision spurred the development of Alberta's oil sands. Peter Law, he'd understood that Alberta's resources were a blessing and an opportunity, <clears throat> but one that Alberta could not afford to squander. He believed that it wasn't enough to get value in the upstream side of the sector. He believed that Albertans were smart enough, innovative enough, and creative enough to take our province's non-renewable resource and add value to them right here in the province. In short, he believed in Albertans. But as we saw from the recent economic downturn, Peter Lloyd's vision of a more diversified economy was never fully realized. We are still not getting full value for our resources. And we are still too vulnerable to world oil prices and to decisions made elsewhere. Part of the reason for that vulnerability is, of course, the landlock. Hence the need for new pipeline capacity. But part of the reason is also that we are not doing enough to add value to our resources here at home. Things are looking up in Alberta, Madam Speaker. Our economy is recovering. But we need to do all we can to ensure that this time, the economic recovery is built for the long haul. And Alberta's dream of economic diversification becomes a reality. <clears throat> diversification does not mean leaving Alberta's traditional leadership in oil and gas behind. Instead, Bill, Bill 1 builds on this traditional economic strength to make it even stronger. And it does this by providing the authority to create three new programs that will help Alberta get full value from energy resources and multiply the benefits right across the province. Components of natural gas that are feedstocks for a wide range of products will drive new facility construction, find new markets, and create new jobs. Oil sands bitumen will be attractive to more refineries and will pass through pipelines with need for less diluent. And energy will have an even stronger role in a more diversified Alberta economy. As I said, I will focus on Bill 1, on how Bill 1 extends and expands the highly successful petrochemicals diversification program. This program targeted propane and methane upgrading. And already it has resulted in two major projects that will establish Canada's first propane-based value chain right here in Alberta. Bill 1 will extend the program to draw even more investment into petrochemical processing. And it will expand the program by adding ethane as a recoverable natu uh, natural gas feedstock. It will foster investment in additional petrochemical processing and ultimately, it will further diversify Alberta's energy sector by focusing on creating new petrochemical value chains. Of course, we are not the only jurisdiction in the world to understand the economic benefits of petrochemical investment. Alberta is facing stiff 
competition from jurisdictions around the world. Without the necessary leadership from government, Alberta won't be as competitive as we need to be. An extended and expanded petrochemicals diversification program will help Alberta remain competitive. Processing natural gas feedstocks will increase the value of our raw resources and help Alberta get the most out of them. In the form of investment capital, jobs, increased economic activity, new revenue from taxes, and more exports. The components of natural gas form the ingredients that are the building blocks for products that enable modern life. These include plastics, antifreeze, fertilizer, fabrics, toys, and much more, Madam Speaker. And as the world population grows, so does the demand for these products. The Chemical Industry Association of Canada estimates that Alberta's chemical industry exports are already valued at $8.2 billion. This new round of petrochemical diversification program will help that grow. The first round of the program was very successful. It attracted 16 applications, representing $20 billion in private investment. We expect the second round of the program to see similar results. The resulting petrochemical manufacturing facilities will create thousands of construction jobs and hundreds more operational jobs. And that is good news for Alberta workers and their families. The Chemistry Industry Association estimates direct employment in Alberta's chemical sector at more than 7,500 people. That's half the population of Canmore, and that's a lot of jobs. The average salary is estimated at more than $90,000 per year. That supports a good standard of living. Expanding petrochemical processing will add even more good-paying jobs. Those are all very good reasons to support Bill 1, Madam Speaker. And Madam Speaker, I encourage all members of the Assembly to examine Bill 1, the Energy Diversification Act, Consider all the benefits of expanding the petrochemical diversification program. See for yourselves how this bill will build even a stronger energy and petrochemical industries by getting more value out of our natural resources. And I am confident that you will agree that Bill 1 is a crucial step in helping to build what we all want for Alberta, a more stable, a more diversified, more prosperous economy for Albertans, and a recovery that is built to last. Thank you, Madam Speaker, and I would like to adjourn debate. Having heard the motion to adjourn debate, all those in favour say aye. aye. Any opposed, say no. The motion is carried.